I think the reason that nuclear is special is that it's the only way to lift everybody out of poverty and solve climate change. People don't appreciate the quantum of difference. We've seen a step up of energy density in the fuels that we've used to date, going from wood to charcoal, coal, oil, gas. And then suddenly you step up two orders of magnitude to uranium. In a piece of uranium the size of a walnut, there's as much potential energy as in the amount of coal to fill a 100-car train. We're not going to get a better battery than that. So here's the only way to make electricity production that contains all of its toxic waste. All of it. I was raised in the environmental school of thought that was telling me the world was getting worse. And then I hit my 30s and started doing my own research and realized, actually, on so many metrics, the world has got better. We're just stuck in an energy paradox, that the energy that's helping us make the world get better has this horrible side effect. Well, let's get rid of the side effect. Let's not get rid of the energy. This idea that there's too many people and that we all have to reduce our energy consumption. The only people in the world who say that are rich people. I, I go around the world, I interview small farmers everywhere, India, Africa, Latin America, Asia. I've never had a small farmer tell me that there's too many people and that we consume too much. Never, you know, um, never had that happen. Hi there, I'd like to read to you a brief review for the movie Juice that I wrote for Apple iTunes. Juice is a surprising look at electricity itself. Juice starts with our electrical grid, a Vox Explain style primer, before branching out to how we use it and how we produce it. Having watched Planet of the Humans and finding the ending extremely disconnected from my own understanding of tackling environmental issues, I was relieved. Juice is a much deeper exploration of the trade-offs involved between various energy sources and between how having and not having access to electricity. Incrementalism is good, but it's dangerous when we view it as the only paradigm. What makes you think that an African's need for power is inferior to an American's need for power? We expect that you can have enough energy to stay poor in a little more comfort, maybe, and maybe to be educated enough to know that you are poor. There are scenes of extremely modern energy generation and consumption. A look at various near futures which haven't reached us yet. Brings to mind the William Gibson quote, the future is already here, just not evenly distributed. William Gibson does not appear in the film, but Richard Garriott is. I was not expecting that. Keep, keep, running. keep going. Keep running. So this is, this is normal now, for... Now you have the problem that we have here. U.S. citizens and other first world citizens recently plunged into darkness. Coal-powered electricity in Colorado, powering cannabis grow operations. Electricity, almost half of it, stolen from the power lines in India. Bitcoin mining data centers powered by geothermal in Iceland. The electricity mafia currently powering Beirut. Some exciting, some dystopian. It's a fantastic look at a variety of possible futures we are racing towards. I strongly recommend watching Juice. Darkness kills human potential. Electricity nourishes it. <laughs>